nice baby you got there, Gil. Shut up, baby shark. Oh, dude, look at our baby. Yeah, if you see here, he is in mid condition, little Jacob. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're gonna get an A. We're gonna get an A. And you're gonna get an F. And you're gonna get an F. Okay, okay, okay. Stop bragging. Oh, my gosh. So, what happened to your baby, Gil? I don't want to talk about it. All right, Cross. Today is Wednesday, October 2, and hope you guys brought your babies back in cool condition. Because if we didn't, you'll fail. You'll fail. But before I do that, I'm going to go over one more time how babies are made. Okay? So first, you got my, me, myself as the male, and a female. Okay? Those two together. They do their thing. I'm, it's hard to explain. I'm not going to say it, though. And then, yep, the baby comes out. Right? And that is how babies are made. All right? That's how every single one of you were made. So hope you learn all about child development, Cross. At this time, I'm going to check and see if you did well on your projects. I'll check your babies. All right, Groove 4, show me your baby. Here it is. Yep, we took great care of it. Hmm, looks a little bit stained. Uh, yeah, he kind of got stained when we were eating. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I'll have to give you an A- minus for that, so 92. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll take it. Alrighty, but good work. All right, Groove 3, show me your baby. Here it is. We took great care of it. Um, I did end up damaging a little bit though because I was all crazy and all that and then my, I had pinky scents and everything, but it's still okay. Oh, okay, well, uh, all right, so uh, let me see. Uh, looks acceptable. Um, okay, I'll give you a B minus, is that okay? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Alrighty, well, at least you did good, all right? Just be careful with it next time, all right? Okay. All right, group two, Gil and Baby Shark, show me your baby. It's, uh, it's right here. Oh, uh, okay, um, what happened to it? Well, um, it, you see, we, we were taking care of it, uh, me and William, and, uh, the baby went through a lot of stuff. Um, it got thrown down a stairwell, got stepped on by a human, uh, was thrown, was gotten electrocuted, and, uh, was drowned in applesauce, and, uh, what else did we forget? Oh, and it also burned up. Yeah, it sadly burned up and, uh, became all this. Oh, I see. Oh my. Well, you two know what that means, right? Yeah, we're gonna fail, and... We're gonna get sent to the principal's office and Sonic's gonna get mad at me. And Silver? No! Wrong! You no fail! You actually passed! Wait, what? Yeah, you see, it turns out all the bears that we had, they're all female. And you did exactly what you had to do, and cure it. Wait, really? Wait, that's what we were supposed to do? Yeah, that's kind of how it is in my place, so um, that's what we we're supposed to do. Oh, uh, okay, well... Well, congrats to ourselves! Yay! I can't believe we passed! I didn't think I did all that work just to do that. Oh, we did a great job, partner. Yeah, I can agree. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! This project is useless! Ugh! I don't even know why we're even doing this! Alright, Group 1, Gobi and Baby Shark. Show me your baby. Okay, listen, we didn't know it was a female. Well, do you see the private part over there? Uh, no. Then it was female. You were supposed to get rid of it. Well, to be honest, I was going to think about getting rid of it. Then why didn't you do it? Uh, because I had a feeling we were going to fail. Okay, well, all right. Tell you what, I'll give you guys B for this one, since you kind of did took care of it, and it's kind of an okay condition, so I'll give you that, though, okay? Okay, I guess we'll take that. Yeah, all righty. All right, Cross, so I've given you a grade for this project, okay? Most of you guys did good work. Um, I guess I forgot to clarify. Well, I did mention that you were supposed to get rid of it, though. But um, most of you guys got A, some of you got B, so, but that's good enough, okay? All right, so I'm going to put these in the grade book, And uh, very soon, the first marking period is going to end. So that means we'll be quarter of the year done. Now, after that, all grades will be submitted. So you will know what your report card is for the first marking period. It's essential that you do very well on your crosses if you want to graduate at the end of the year. And not just this cross all your crosses. So the ones that you have today and the ones that you have Tuesday and Thursday. Okay? So I think we're going to have one more class before this marking period ends and then, um, yeah, we'll be in the second marking period. So hopefully you're doing well in your crosses, alright? I'll see you guys in the next cross.
Well, you should be proud, Gobi, that we got a B on this. Yeah, I was hoping for an A, though, but I didn't realize we were supposed to kill it. Yeah, I didn't realize it either, though. I just wanted to take care of it, because, like, I would fail if I didn't take care of it. You know, Willem, I guess you are very helpful after all. I thought you were useless. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought you were just, like, didn't even know how to take care of the bee, but I guess your smartness has gotten your ideas somewhere. Oh, uh, okay. I don't get what you were saying, but okay, I mean, if you said I was smart, then cool. Yep. So I guess it did have to work after all, because I thought you, like, you know, you were going to make us fail on purpose. Oh, no, 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 no. Why would I do that? No. I actually paid attention to the teacher, actually, so I kind of knew that I was supposed to get rid of it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh... Or, I mean, it's not really a real baby, though, so it was kind of like a simulation thing, you know? Ah, I see. Okay, well, that makes a lot of sense. All right, well, I guess um, we got an extra credit, A, eh? uh, so I hope that'll get us passing grades. Oh, it certainly will. Well, Gil, I'll see you back here in the next class. I'm going to go back with Baby Shark. Alrighty, and uh, I'm going to go back with Gobi, because uh, I'm going to try to be friends with Gobi. Hey, baby. Hey, William. I'm glad we're back together again. Yeah, I didn't think we had to swap partners. Yeah, same goes with us. So, you know, me and Gil are like a pair for some reason. And I guess me and William are too. Yeah, so it's quite surprising how we swapped partners, basically. Yeah, pretty much. But at least that's a friendship lesson that we're learning, because, like, we gotta learn to cooperate with new people. That is true, though, so, you know, Twilight does give us good friendship lessons. Agreed. <sighs> I have to be here as soon as I can. Like, why was I told to come here so early today? Yeah, I was wondering about it. Like, normally we would start at 9 a.m., but we were told to come before 8. Yeah, like, I could have had that one extra hour of sleep or something. Well, that is true, though, but we kind of have to get here at 8 anyway. Right, right, because that's when school normally starts. Well, whatever the reason that we got here early is going to be something good. Something very exciting. And adventure -y. Well, we're about to find out now. Good morning, Mr. Grouper. Well, good morning, everyone. And welcome back to another day of class. Now, I know we got here very early today, though, but um, we're actually going to be going on a trip today. A road trip? Oh, that's going to sound fun. Where are we going? Well, I'm just about to tell you. Um, we're actually going to be going to another campus, which is the same thing as this one. So we kind of have like a back campus, um, which I actually just found out like this morning, though. And uh, Principal Leonardo has noted me that there's like this uh, wonderful area where we can learn about. And, our, and what we're learning about today is nature. So we are going to be going over there uh, and we're going to take a little bit of a nature walk. So is that the reason why we got here so early? Yeah, this is going to take a, like a long time to get all the way over there because it's actually far away from here. It's like a near like the east area over there. So uh, we're going to be it's going to take like about an hour for me to drive you guys all the way over there, though. And uh, we're going to go into one of the classrooms when we get there um, to tell you what, what we're going to expect on the lecture. OK, so let's get to it right now so that we can get there on time because we do need to be back here uh, before three. Um, and uh, I did make approval that you guys will be excused from your afternoon class today. Um, just make sure you manage to get your work done uh, in that class that you have this afternoon, all right? All right, so when you're ready, let's line up at the door and we're going to head over to my car. All right, a field trip. I've never actually had field trips before. Oh, that's right, because um, in seasons five and six, when you guys debuted it, we didn't do field trips at all. Yeah, we unfortunately, we kind of stuck to the whole story segment for the whole episode. Yeah, it actually kind of sucks that we didn't get to do that anymore, as well as the dances that we do after the story segment. Yeah, but probably because we kind of have to cut to commercial breaks just like every other show does it, so we kind of have to follow their laws, basically. That is true, though, so... But hey, I mean, the season five and six episodes are good for reenactments. Oh, that is true, Molly, that is true. All right, then, so uh, let's actually go to the other school. I, I didn't even realize we had another school that's like Bullworth. All right, here we are, everybody. All right, let's see who we got. Huh? That's the campus? Wow, I didn't realize we had a small campus. And it's the other one, but is it part of Bullworth? Well, originally it wasn't part of Bullworth though, but uh, Principal Leonardo is making arrangements to make this campus part of Bullworth. Um, I think it said that for like anyone who behaved really badly at the original Bullworth campus, 
that they would just get transferred to here, and this is like the place for battered people in here. I see. No wonder why Bullworth is the toughest school ever. Yeah, so pretty much that's all I know. I don't know why they're going to make a separate campus, knowing that Bullworth is great with just the whole one campus that we have, but I guess he just wanted a second one though, but... Well, I gotta hear from what he says later in the week though. I think they're gonna do something about it though, but um... I guess it's best not to mention it until we get an announcement or something. But anyways, uh, let's go inside then in one of the classrooms and uh, we'll start on what I'm going to tell you in the lecture. Okay, um, let's go. Wait, so we have to go up the steps to enter the building? I guess so, I mean, technically it kind of counts as the second floor or something. Yeah, I think so. Um, I didn't know the second floor can count as the first floor. Well, it's actually called the ground floor. Oh, uh, okay, that explains. You see, ladies? This here campus is a perfect place to put the meanest students here. Uh, yes, I can see that. But for some reason, this place doesn't feel abandoned. So why exactly are we here? Well, you see, we're connecting this campus to our main campus. And by doing that, I mean, this is like a faraway place. I don't think anyone's going to want to come here. Exactly. This place is only going to be dedicated to the better people. I mean, you know, Bullworth is the toughest school ever. Um, yeah, I mean, that kind of does explain that. And you see this wand here? We're going to use this one to teleport all the bad students from the main campus to here. Oh, I see, but it, it looks like a very nice wand from Sophia the First. Yeah, like, doesn't this wand do good things? It does, but I hacked it, so it does evil things. Like, this what's in here releases electricity from the electric chair, and this one here teleports you away. Ah, okay, so that makes sense. Yeah, it just kind of seems wrong to hack something that's meant for good. Yeah, but I don't really feel bad about it. Alright, so we're gonna head upstairs and... Oh, hey, Principal Leonardo. Oh, hey, Mr. Grouper. I wasn't expecting that you'd be here today. Oh, that's right. They were going to do a lecture here, so I told them to come here today. Um, okay, so just make sure you don't bother us today then, and, uh, use one of the empty classrooms upstairs, okay? And stay out of trouble, especially that blue mermaid that you have in your class, because there's a slight chance I may have him come here for good, because I know that he's going to do bad things. Okay, I don't know why you said that, but, uh, we'll make sure not to bother you, okay? Alright, class, let's, uh, go upstairs. This place is actually nice. I can agree. Come on, Gilly. I'm coming, you guys. <gasps> <laughs> I'm watching you, Blue Mermaid. You better keep that nose clean. <gasps> Are we actually here because of Gil? Well, uh, parts of it, but you see, I know him. He's going to mess up today. Well, he looks well behaved right now. For now, but just watch till later and you'll see what he does. Anyways, we've got to get ready. The superintendent will be here any minute. Okay, so this will be our classroom, so let's have a seat, and I'll tell you what we're going to do. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting those desks to be tiny. Yeah, I just realized that these desks are pretty small. Like, you don't even have enough room to place a bunch of things. Like, you probably only have room for one paper. Yeah, I was not expecting the desks to look like this. Um, But don't worry, we're not going to be here for very long. So as you know, class, we are going to be doing a nature walk today. So we are going to be going back outside in just a few minutes. And we're going to be going on that trail that I'm going to show you in a second. Okay, so here's what we're going to expect today. So we are going to be walking the trail. And there are going to be things that I want you to spot, all right? And those things, you're going to note them down on your notebook when we get back. And that's going to be uh, your, your graded assignment for when you turn it in, okay? Now, you can get lost pretty easily during this nature walk. So I expect everyone to stick together. Don't be apart, all right? Uh, so, you know, definitely recommend being in groups of two to three, which is very best for me. And then sticking together as a class, because I don't want to be like, we lost some of you guys, though, and then the principal is not going to be responsible for any of this, though. So this is kind of my fault if I lost you guys, all right? Does everyone understand? Yes, yes understood. understood. I, I agree. Understood. understood. Yes. Very good. Let's go outside and get started in this nature walk. Just be careful with the principal. We don't want to bother him today. All right, let's do this, guys. This is going to be a fun adventure. I can agree. It's kind of like those story segments that we do. Oh, yes, every story segment is an adventure, pretty much. 
So this is the campus that Bullworth wants to acquire? Uh, apparently yes. Uh, Twilight hasn't told me much information about it, so I kind of have no idea why uh, Principal Leonardo is doing this though. Um, but I guess he will tell you when you see him. Um, okay, I'm just letting you know that it has to be approved first before you can use this campus. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if it's used to e expand Bullworth or something, but um, as long as it's legit. Oh, I'm sure it'll be legit. Um, only one way to find out when we go in. Um, okay. Okay, so I got everything up to plan, so you should expect the superintendent any minute. Twilight, we're here! Oh, that sounds like Spike! Looks like the superintendent's here! Alright, we'll go bring her in. Alright, you do that! Greetings, Superintendent Lakatu! We are so happy to have you here! Uh, yes, I am very glad to see you both too. Um, I was not expected to be here in this tiny campus. Um, do you know why Principal Leonardo asked me to come here? Well, um, we're just about to tell you. We're actually gonna um, take you to the principal right now. Uh, okay, well, let me see him then. Alrighty, follow us then. Alright, principal, we present you the superintendent of the district. Hello, Principal Leonardo. I hope you have a legit reason on using this campus for Bullworth. Oh, hello there, Superintendent Lakatu. I'm very glad you're here. So yes, I do want to go over an important plan about using this campus to expand Bullworth, because we have a lot of bad students that are misbehaving and I'm transferring them to here to learn their lesson. I see. So what is your plan exactly? Well, I have the, this paper right here, so I want you to take a look at it, and uh, um, I'm going to be bringing a, a brand new team called The Organization, and uh, has a little bit of information about it, though, so I want you to, you know, check the paper and tell me what, what you think. Um, okay, I, I guess I'll see what we got. Alright, as you can see, the Nature Walk entrance is over there, but before we go there, we have this road to cross. So, there are three steps to this, and we're going to learn more about this later in the year, okay? So we stop where we are, look both ways, and we listen if there's anything passing us, like any cars, or any trucks, or any buses, or anything like that. Alright, once it's all clear, we can safely cross. Now everyone hold hands. Alrighty, we made it safely. All right, so I'm going to show you this thing right here, pollinators, all right? So a pollination is an important process of the life cycle of plants. The pollen fertilizes the plant, making seeds to grow the next generation. Plants produce fruits and vegetables we eat every day. Plants are pollinated through wind, animal, and self-pollination. So you see, we got a bee here who's collecting nectar for the honey. And then uh, this is, there's 400 of them. So you see, we got different ones. And then uh, looking over here, we got some butterflies, different variants, and a bird, this ruby-throated hummingbird. Very interesting. And then did you know one out of every three bites of food we eat come from plants that need pollinators? Pollinator po uh, populations are declining because of pesticide use, habitat loss, and lack of crop diversity. So, you know, lots of roads are being made and we're losing habitat when, you know, we have to, like, replace all these grass with uh, all these uh, concrete and stuff. And plus, people are using the parks, though, and, you know, how people are like. All right, so it's very important that we save the planet. Wowzers, I can't believe animals are starting to extinct. Yeah, I know, like, I feel really bad for them when we have to lose a bunch of animals. Like, they just, like, die in random places, though, and, you know, we really don't deserve that. No, we don't. And I think a few animals were extinct a long time ago. Well, we know the dinosaurs did, but, like, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 I, I know what you mean. Hey, check this out. We got a mural ahead of us. Murals are amazing. They're an excellent power of art. Yep, art mixtures with a lot of things in forms of many shapes. So like, check this out. We got, uh, I think they look like bats over here. Um, these are eagles and, oh, the middle path is all fishies and uh, ducks and all the, like the aquatic life. There's some owls over there. And we see some flowers and a few, I think those are birds. Uh, more flowers, uh, I think there's squirrels over here, pretty amazing. Mushrooms, uh, are those like frogs or something? I think so, or li I think they look like lizards actually. Oh yeah, yeah, lizards, I think they do look like lizards. Um, these look like autumn leaves, uh, more lizards, and uh, 
more oh those are uh i think those are toucans or or pigeons i think i don't know it's hard to describe though with those pictures um and there's just a few bit of mosaics here pretty awesome um oh those are turtles actually yeah i think those are yeah they are turtles they yeah i can tell by the shell and those are bald eagles pretty awesome and we got some more ducks up ahead flowers on the sides and more squirrels and trees um i think those are oh those are red robins okay red robins awesome and uh so we have fox here bald eagles and oh okay so it's pretty much the same thing as we're coming back pretty awesome though oh you said it I bet a lot of people work together to make this entire line of Muriel. Yeah, I, I bet it's like over a hundred people that have excellent art skills to create something awesome like this. All right, next I want to show you the river. So as you can see, there's the river right here. It's meant to look like this, but it's completely normal. Uh, so people come here to do a lot of fishing and to go on boat rides. So that, you know, they would just use a kayak or they would just use the boats and you know, like a sailboat or or a, a machine boat and they can go around the river. Can you actually swim in there? I mean, you could go wee, but it is not recommended because uh, like during storms, this river can move really fast and you won't even stop, like you can't even control yourself. Like it'll just move you. And definitely wear a life jacket when you're going in the water. So that's a very important thing though. So my best bet, don't swim in here. And plus the water is dirty though. So I wouldn't recommend you going in there anyway. Oh, you see? All right, I wanna show you guys one more thing before we head back to the classroom. Now, as you can see, we have all these trees here. Now, in case you're wondering, all these trees are used to make paper. And the worst part is that the more paper that we waste, the more trees have to be cut down. So I think we probably saw one tree that's cut down way behind us. Oh, you mean that one over there? Yep, that's right, Gil. That one had to be cut down for paper. And as you can see, we've got some new trees that are growing. So you see one over there, one over here, and one over there. And apparently, they take so many years to grow into those big trees that you see over here. So that's why it's best not to cut too many of them down, because they can take a long time to grow. And I don't think you're going to get any paper out of this. Well, that makes a lot of sense. You know, people don't really use paper that much anymore, because now we're just using like online stuff to do everything. Oh yeah, I think I know what you're talking about, Gobi, because like the whole pandemic happened and everybody had to do everything online and we couldn't even submit papers in person. Like we had to submit all our documents online. Yeah, and pretty much at this point we had to type everything. I don't think we even use pencils anymore. I mean, some people still do. Uh, I know art classes, they have to. Well, yeah, I mean, we know art classes, they have to use paper. So that's pretty much the only exception. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for our nature walk for today. Uh, I hope you had a fun time out there. Let's head back to the classroom and do a quick summary, and we'll be done for today. Wow, that was a fun walk. Now I'm definitely going to have more studying in animals. Oh, yeah, you said it, and you're already an expert in animals, Lily. Oh, yeah, that's right, though. But hey, it wouldn't hurt to learn more. You know, Gobi, being in this class is a lot better than being in Chief Tui's. Oh yeah, tell me about it, because Chief Tui just tells us to do assignments or we're, or we're dumb. Yeah, I mean, he calls us dumb all the time whenever we're not doing what we're supposed to do, like we're failing a class or like if we're not getting the questions right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure um, Chief Tui calls people dumb in your class, isn't it, Molly? Yeah, sometimes. You know, a few students, when they don't listen, he just calls them dumb and then it says the S word. Oh yeah, 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 I think I know what you're talking about. All right, everyone, hope you all had a fun time out there in the nature. Let's summarize. What did we learn? Um, we learned that it's important to stick together. I mean, we pretty much stuck together, did we? I mean, yeah, pretty much. You all did a great job on staying together when I told you to, because I wouldn't want you separated, because you won't know where you are. And we didn't bring a map, so that would have been harsh. Um, we also learned that it's not recommended to swim in a river, because the, uh, the river speed can be super fast during storms. And it's also recommended to wear a life jacket. Very good, Nani. Life jackets are important, so it's always important you have it on when you're about to go in the water, even if you're going into a boat. And yeah, definitely not recommend swimming in a river, because depending on how the speed is, you won't even control yourself. Like, it's just going to push you away. Anything else? We also learned to take care of the environment, because we've been seeing animals getting extinct because of the lack of crops and all the stuff that we're doing, like causing uh, pollution and stuff. So, you know, it's very important that we don't litter and cause a bad environment because then animals won't live anymore. 
Yes, I agree, Zuli. Yes, never litter, ladies and gentlemen, okay? If you see trash, please pick it up and throw it in the trash bin. Because, you know, people these days, they just don't even care about it, or they're just too lazy to just throw it in the trash. They can just draw, throw it on the floor thinking that someone's going to do it for you. But no, you have to pick it up when you're done your food or when you're about to throw something away, like a tissue. So I think that pretty much covers all that we mentioned, though. Um, so yeah, you all did a great job. Um, you won't have to turn in any homework assignments tonight. Um, all that's going to be great for participating in the nature walk. So I thank you, everyone, for your cooperation. Um, we're going to drive back to our regular campus now because um, uh, I don't think uh, the principal wants us here too long, though. So uh, I'm going to give you guys about 10 to 15 minutes to use the bathroom if you need to because it's going to be a long drive back to our original campus. And then you'll be going home from there. All right. So I'm, it was a pleasure seeing you guys today. And uh, yeah, we'll be back next class. And I think we're going to be covering Halloween next, which is going to be very, very exciting. Um, so we'll see you guys in the next class. And uh, yeah, I'll meet you in the car in 15 minutes. Well, that was a fun trip. Yeah, tell me about it. We got to go to another place. Oh, yeah, that was pretty amazing. Um, um, Gil, what are you standing here for? Aren't you coming? Oh, yeah, 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 I I'm coming, I'm coming. Um, I just got to do something first. Um, okay, well, we'll be in the car waiting. Just don't be late, Gilly. Don't worry, I won't. I wonder what that darn principal's doing. Um, wouldn't hurt to go check it out, though, because he was being a bit suspicious to me. Hmm, this seems like their hideout. Um, I better be quiet so I can hear what they're saying, because I bet they're coming up with something. Absolutely not!